Hey there, I'm Jen Herman with Jen's Trends, and if you're looking to grow your audience on Instagram, this is the video for you. You may have a brand new account starting from scratch, or maybe you have an existing account that's gotten a little stagnant and you want to rejuvenate it, or maybe you have a new product or service that you want to be able to reach more people with to talk about that new item. Whatever the case may be, there's a reason why you're looking to grow your followers. So. In this video, we're gonna talk about strategies that work for all these different components for you to be able to get more followers on Instagram. But before we dive into those, a couple caveats I want you to think about. What we're talking about in this video are all organic strategies. These are not things about buying followers. We're not talking about advertising as a means to get in front of more people or that those are always options. This video is not about those paid strategies. Everything in here is organic activity on your profile or things that you can be doing interacting with other accounts to grow your following. Additionally, None of the things in here are an overnight success. You're not gonna do one of these things and all of a sudden have a thousand new followers tomorrow morning. That's not how it works. These are things that take time and process and commitment to you to create the content, create the environment and connect with people to grow your audience organically. Nothing is gonna be an overnight success with these strategies. And finally, I want you to think about why you want more followers and how many followers you want. If you're coming here going, well, we want 10,000 followers because we want the swipe up link, that's not how it works. If you want 100,000 followers for whatever reason, why? What is that number and where did you come up with it? And before you finalize your answer to that, I want you to think about one thing in turn. If you had all the customers you could manage, how many would that be? How many customers do you have right now? How would you get from A to B? Would you be able to support 10,000 customers? If you only have 100 paying customers today, could you afford and support what is needed to have 10,000 paying customers? So if you only have 100 paying customers right now, having 10,000 followers, not necessarily a realistic expectation. Having a thousand followers online would be realistic. because, of course, you're gonna have more followers than you have paying customers. But ideally, you want your followers to be relevant to your business and potential customers who are willing to pay you. And if those people want to work with you, you have to be able to support them. So having a hundred paying customers right now, having a thousand followers, that's realistic. 10,000, probably not all that realistic. Likewise, if you have thousands of paying customers and you're a large organization, of course, you can go much bigger in terms of your audience, but keep it in perspective and be realistic in terms of how many followers are appropriate for the type and size of your business. Okay, enough with all that. Let's dive into the actual strategies that you want in terms of how to grow your following on Instagram. First thing we're going to talk about, hashtags. And if you want more help on hashtags, I want you to go check out my video here on YouTube. I'll put a link to it in the caption of this video to my super secret hashtag recipe that I tell everybody. It is a successful strategic plan for using hashtags. And yes, you want to be using hashtags to get more non-followers, people who don't currently follow you, to see your content. Hashtags are the key to having that happen. It gets new eyeballs on your content. It gets people reading your captions it grows your followers and it drives conversions. So go check out that video. Again, link to that here in the caption of this video where you can link directly to that and go watch that video on hashtag strategies. So next step, also hashtag related. When it comes to hashtags and using them as the video describes, that's one thing. I'm gonna talk about now stalking hashtags as I call it. So in this case, I teach social media. I get on stages at events. I work with clients and I teach social media. So my ideal client is somebody who wants to learn social media or wants help executing their social media strategies. So a lot of times what I will do is I will find the hashtags related to social media conferences and events. Even if I'm not there, these are events that are going on around the world and I will go and find their hashtag and I stalk the hashtag, meaning I scroll through that hashtag's content and I like the content over and over. I just keep scrolling and liking the content created around that hashtag. What ends up happening is my profile shows up in the notifications of all of those people who have created all of that content. 
they're at a social media conference, they're using Instagram, and I show up in their notifications, and they go oh, look at me and go, oh, who's this Jen's trans girl? Oh, look, she teaches Instagram. I should follow her. I will get dozens into hundreds of new followers every single time I use this strategy. Now, I've honed it in. I know where my target audience is and how to find them using this method. Your method may be different. If you're in real estate, you're not going to go necessarily going after real estate conferences because that's where other realtors are. But you might look for things like home and garden shows or other um, you know, remodeling and DIY events that go on locally in your neighborhoods and areas where you serve. And those are places where people who are looking to do home remodeling are likely looking to either buy or sell at some point in the near future. And even if not, they may know people who are. So your target audience are homeowners and they're at that home and garden show. So find places or events or things that are going on that have hashtags related to your target audience and where they are, and then stock that hashtag, like that content, and you show up in the notifications, they will come over and check out your profile and most likely follow you and in some way interact with you in that way. So the next step is gonna be location tags. This is incredibly important for local businesses, if you serve a local geographical area, if you have multiple areas that you serve, you can mix up the locations. But tagging a location allows your content to show up in searches where people are looking for that content. So everybody knows I live in San Diego, so I could use things related to hash, you know, uh, San Diego locations. I could use specific venues, specific locations, or I could just tag San Diego. Either way, by using those location tags, people that are looking for that location will find you in searches. If you have a physical storefront business, you can tag your location. So if people are looking for that location, they will obviously find your content. But you may wanna tag a park, a city, a neighborhood, something nearby where it is your location is so that people looking for that will also find you in that location search. So mix up those location tags, but definitely take advantage of those because people will find you and again, navigate to your content. That's gonna get people seeing your content, hopefully following you and growing your audience that way as well. So the next thing we're gonna talk about Partnerships and cross promotion. This takes some finesse, takes a little time and practice, takes finding the right people. You're not going to cold call somebody and be like, hey, let's partner up on Instagram. No, these are people you need to build relationships with. Again, I said none of this is overnight successes. So let's say you are a hairdresser in the city in which you work. Well, if you're looking to grow your audience, what you might do is partner with a clothing boutique because people who are shopping in that clothing boutique probably need to have their hair cut. And people who are you, at your location getting their hair cut probably need to buy clothes. So the two of you combine forces, usually best to put this in some sort of writing, even if it's just email, but we want a mutual understanding of expectations for both parties. And essentially you both agree to do one post shouting out the other company or two posts over a month, whatever you agree to. And now you will say on your account, hey, I want to introduce you to this amazing clothing boutique. I love, you know, Jane, she runs the event or runs the, uh, the shop and she's super sweet and all the staff are great. You should go check them out. And then that boutique is going to do something very similar talking about you as a hair salon. So what happens is now you're using each other's audiences to promote each other back and forth and it's a chance to capitalize on each other's audiences. Again, you wanna do this in a partnership with somebody who aligns with what you do. If you are a hairdresser, you have to partner with another hairdresser. That's not exactly gonna be, that's kind of a conflict of interest, right? That's not gonna be helpful, but something that aligns with what you do. And then you also wanna make sure that you have similar sized audiences. If you have a few hundred followers and they have 1,500, that's okay. But you don't want to have 200 followers and they have 28,000 and say, hey, can we partner with you? They're probably going to say no because we want it to be mutually beneficial for both parties involved. So find some local businesses or other people in the online space in which you serve that align with what you do and see if you guys can partner up and share audiences in that way. 
So the next thing that you can do is asking people to tag their friends in a comment. So maybe you put up some really good informational content, something that's a great resource or a tip or a DIY suggestion, whatever it is, whatever industry you're in, you can always say in that caption, hey, if you found this tip helpful, make sure to tag a friend below who would also find it helpful. Don't overdo this tactic, don't use it all the time, but absolutely you can use this to say, hey, if you found it helpful, tell a friend. And it's totally okay to say things like that on Instagram where you can say tag a friend in the comment below. That's totally safe, I wouldn't give you bad advice, I promise. But that's another way to, again, let your audience do the work for you. They're gonna bring your followers or their friends to you to grow your followers. They're gonna come in, they're gonna see the content, go, wow, that was really cool, and they're gonna going to probably follow you because they found that information helpful. Again, not a slam dunk, not always going to work, but it can help you grow that audience slowly but surely relying on the backs of your existing audience who already love you and are probably happy to tell people about you. All right. And the final thing, similar to what that was with tagging friends below, is going to be using giveaways. So giveaways are great on Instagram. I will not touch a contest or a giveaway on Facebook to save my life because there are just way too many rules, what you can, what you can't do, so many restrictions. Instagram is super easy in terms of how to run contests or giveaways. What I recommend when you're running a giveaway, and you have to be very careful in how you use the term. So giveaway means it is a randomly chosen essential uh, prize award. Contest means that there's some sort of competition or skill involved to win. So typically referring to them as a giveaway. And you want a prize that is commensurate to the amount of work that goes into it. But really simple giveaways could be, you know, something where you give away a little bit of swag, maybe a little merchandise, a free product, coupon code, something that is of relative value that people want to participate in, but is directly related to what you do as a business. And then you make the criteria to enter that they have to like the post, they have to follow you, and they have to tag a friend in the comment below. Three criteria to enter. That's it. Now there's lots of other contests and giveaways you can do, but for the sake of growing your audience, this is the kind you want to use. So again, like the post, follow your account, and tag a friend in the comments below. Now, what ends up happening is if you see my, my giveaway post, you come over, you obviously already, probably already follow me, you like the post, you tag a friend. Now, your friend goes, ooh, I want to get my hands on that. I want to win that. So now they like the post, they go and follow me, and then they tag a friend. So what happens is it grows your audience. Now, again, as long as your prize is relevant to your target audience, you will get high quality followers that are your potential customers. You may lose some after the contest, yes, but if it's a relevant prize and you're doing something for your target audience, most of the time they will stick around. So those are my overarching top tips for how to grow your audience on Instagram. I know that was a lot. It was a lot to take in, but there's a lot of different strategies. And a lot of this is going to come down to you being consistent, you showing up, you creating high quality content, because the more that you give your audience that high quality content, the more they're probably going to share it and talk about it and tell people about it anyways. So that high quality content is key in augment to all of these strategies that we just talked about. So if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel where I'm always helping people with all these tips and advice on how to use Instagram successfully. And if you need help with your social media strategy, or if you would like somebody to speak at your next event on how to use Instagram marketing strategically, please reach out to me. You can always send me an email to Jen, J-E-N-N, at jenstrends.com and I'm happy to connect with you there and I will see you in the next video.